Okay, I just wanted to cover a concept called um, overscan. Okay, and what overscan does um, is it 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 basically it 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 kind of renders the what overscan does. Is it, it doesn't affect the three D uh, system. It affects the two D system. So what it does is it actually renders the uh, um, the viewport or it renders the our view larger than the viewport um so that we can actually zoom into our images okay um um let me just demonstrate that inside of uh, nuke so if i go into nuke here okay here we have our 3d system because nuke has kind of a clearer separation between our uh, 3d system and the 2d system whereas in mayor it's slightly sort of more sort of merged together it's not not as clearly different okay um okay so here's our um uh, uh 3d system okay and obviously here's our camera kind of moving into the scene and, and doing our, our bits okay this is inside of nuke if i go into our 2d system now okay um let's give it a moment there we go go into our 2d system now what you'll see is if I go, if I go, um, what we're looking at now here, so you can clearly see when we're in our 2D system, what we're looking at isn't the, isn't the 3D view, uh, it's the actual rendered, it's the rendered output from the 3D system. So it's the 2D rendered output from the, from the 3D system is what we're looking at here. So when we zoom, uh, if I go and zoom in on here, and this isn't actually zooming in, this is actually called overscan, okay? So if I go, um, if I, Dolly into this. I'm just going to right click and then uh, uh, use my. So I'm just going Alt and using my mouse wheel, and I'm going into this image. Okay, but what I'm doing is zooming into the the image that's resulting from the 3D render. Not actually, I'm not actually doing anything with the 3D cameras themselves, and that's called overscanning. So just to clarify, overscanning is zooming in on the resulting render the resulting 2d image from our render it's not actually doing anything to the 3d scene itself okay so you can see here what we're doing is i'm going into here and i go back into my 2d render it hasn't a 3d view it hasn't actually changed anything in my 3d view it hasn't changed the field of view of the camera it hasn't moved the camera forward all it's done is basically basically all we're doing is 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 over scanning the final 2d image so that we can actually see it in more detail so that's what overscanning is how does that look in maya okay so again obviously in maya i can you know if i'm in my perspective view and i start sort of moving around here to get in and look at things in more detail i'm looking at things in more detail by actually moving my 3d camera around my scene okay now the problem i've got is what i want to do is from my um a projection camera and that's called pro camera 2 in this uh, example file that I'm using here okay from my projection camera let's just move that out of the way so from my projection camera um where where I'm actually uh, working on this uh, mat um what I want to do is I I don't want to move the projection camera that's something I don't want to do indeed I've locked the projection camera okay if I move the projection camera it's going to cause me all sorts of problems okay so I don't want to move the projection camera, but what I sometimes want to do in order to refine this map, especially refining the geometry in more detail from this point of view, what I want to be able to do is overscan, i.e. without moving the camera, make this image, the resulting image that we're seeing in our viewport through the camera, larger. Okay? So all we want to do is just make the 2D, the resulting 2D image larger. And that's called overscan. Okay. So to achieve that. I'm looking through the projection camera here, and this is this is the perspective from which we want to work on our geometry. And what I want to do is go through. Um, uh, I want to go into select camera and go into the attribute editor, so that I'm looking at the camera shape here. Okay, and if I go down, so yeah, if I go down and uh, go to my display options. In here, I've got something called overscan, and if I adjust this, so if I make it actually less, let's make it say 0.7, you can see it's zooming in on my image. Okay, if I go like 0.5, there you are, it's, it's zooming in on my image. But again, 
all this is doing is it's not altering the position of the camera. It hasn't done anything to our camera in this view. If I go back to my perspective and look at our cameras, okay, the camera hasn't been changed. The field, uh, the field of view uh, of the camera hasn't been changed. All it's doing is simply over-resing the actual 2D render and making it larger than the viewport, okay, uh, 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 i.e. over-scanning, okay. Uh, and then if I go into my camera too, great. And you can see why I might want to do this because uh, that allows me then, I can like, literally go into here and start literally sort of manipulating and refining these vertexes, uh, you know, to kind of really sort of fit the right sort of edges of this building and get into the kind of the detail here. Um, there we are, you know, really kind of noodling this uh, and, and making this mat fit much better than I would otherwise. Sorry, let's go back into vertex mode. There we go. Okay. And I could spend a lot of time doing that, but you get the idea that I can actually now, you know, refine this mat in a lot more detail using this overscan method as well. Okay. Uh, now to pan this left and right, it's a little bit clunky. Um, uh, but to pan this left and right, we need to go back into our uh, camera. So select camera and literally go pan uh, zoom enabled so click on that and then by changing these um, um, settings I can go uh, I can change that to 0.5 and that allows me that's probably a little bit too much but you can see I can move my camera across as I need to okay and so that allows me to move my camera across and get to the points that I need to okay um, so that's uh, over scanning uh, a very useful tool for refining your geometry okay so this method of manipulating um, attributes within the attribute editor to move uh, to, to zoom in or to over scan your image and move around the over scan is really clunky so what I've done is create a tool which actually just manipulates these attributes in one place and does it in a much better manner okay so in the um, zip file uh, the tutorial files for this tutorial you'll see there's a py file dot py file mr overscan uh, complete so this is the complete version of Matthew Randall's overscan tool okay so it's this script here that we want to use now to load this script you want to go into window general editors and you want to go into script editor okay and then what you do is go file load script okay and then you want to just locate the script so in my case I've put it sort of kind of deep down in the D drive here it's all neatly get there okay so here's the PY script so I've located that so it's wherever you've put it on your computer and we can open that and you'll see that here is the script I'm not going to talk you through that now if, if you're interested then that will be a future lesson possibly okay so um, uh, yeah let's so what I'm going to do is uh, let's just um, I'm just going to run this okay and you'll see it creates this tool here let me just uh, sorry let me just put this down here so it creates this tool here and what I can do is at the moment I'm looking through the projection camera I'm going to change this so that I'm looking through the actual shot camera okay uh, that's animated okay so it's the camera that we're interested in okay and then what I'm going to do is I can select that camera from here and then what I can do is start zooming that in okay in real time and then move the pan around okay so it's still not perfect but it's a much easier tool to use than than any other tool okay but obviously you just need to make sure you've got that actual uh, the, the actual camera that you're manipulating selected here and obviously if I go into my sort of four up view here okay you can see obviously it's still gonna manipulate that view even if I have another camera view here uh, say my perspective and I'm looking around that even if I have that manipulated here it's only going to be manipulating the view that I've got selected in here if I need to select manipulate a different view I can select perspective and I can manipulate that view as well okay and obviously if you get a little bit lost in terms of this overscan there's a little reset button you can click which will just reset the view to the standard settings okay so can I go to my shot cam I can reset that and then that's that gives me what I'm actually going to see uh, uh, from this render okay it's uh, just press space there okay so um, excellent so that is my um, overscan tool okay um, in a nutshell now what we can do 
Uh, what we can do then is actually, um, rather than having to load this script in and then highlight it and run it every time that we want to do it. And, and oh, by the way, I wasn't very clear. In order to run it, I selected it all and then I went Control Enter and that ran it. Okay. But rather than doing that, what we can do is select it all. And then here you can see we've got different shelves with different tools. Okay. And we've got a shelf called Scripts here. And what I can do is if I go File, Save Script to Shelf, it'll ask me for a name. I'll call it Overscan. Okay. And then it's going to save this tool to the uh, to the shelf here. Okay. And basically, whenever I want to run that now, I can just simply click on there and I've got that tool available for me to do an Overscan uh, very easily whenever I want.